I recently joined the Discord server run by Michael of In the Mix, and soon after began their eighth community challenge to produce a song using at least one of the community's presets on the Vital Synth. However, I am most assuredly insane, as I decided it would be best to make a song using only these presets while also having a full time job and also moving into a new apartment. Two weeks and minimal sleep later, here is my breakdown of Time Zones, a song made using only those vital community presets. And my vocals. This beautiful glockenspiel preset is the backbone of the song, although on its own it does sound a bit different. I added pitch bend to the chords and a longer attack to give it a different character. And for the main hook section, I rendered that phrase out, cut the audio track in a bunch of different places, and added some glitch algorithms to make the main lead. I also use Space Clementine in the final section of the song, with a wet reverb and a chopper automating different rhythms. This was easily my favorite preset in the pack, thank you Sophie. For most of the song, I don't think I changed this preset much at all, outside of some normal effects like compression, saturation, chorus on the top end. This plays the main bass line of the song, although there is another bass that comes in for the first break section, which is actually the same preset, um, but with a different attack time on this one. I am very thankful there was a kick included in this pack, which I used here. It is EQ'd a little bit, but not much different. Same for this one as well. This is a standard snare, which I used as a snare. Wow! I did use it for more things though. I got a copy of it um, with a fully wet delay and a glitch plugin on top of it to make some percussive fills, as well as a pitched up version with a high pass filter on it to effectively act as a hi-hat. I used this preset called Spooky Lead 2 to bring in some RP synth fills here and there. It's also got an octaver on it for most of it to give it a little more weight. This preset is also used very quietly behind my vocals to give them just the teensiest bit more presence. This is a cute little sound that comes up here and there, sometimes to help that spooky lead, and other times to just add a little additional chordal flavor to the break sections. Continuing on the little noises that pop up occasionally, we have Emergency. This is listed as a bass preset, but I definitely didn't use it as one. I put the filter loop into double time and played it on a high octave to get these quick stabs. This plucky preset got a lot of processing, with multiple delays, along with a distortion, a glitch plugin, and codec too, which is kind of both of those things combined. It's only present for four bars near the end of the song and sits as some background chaos to help fill in the space. I thought this DMB smooth synth would work great as a pad to go in the break sections, so I cranked up the attack and the release to smooth this out even further. It also filter sweeps in some sections too. For more variation in this pad, I layered this preset on top of it. I love these little bloop bloop bloops, they create such a nice little atmosphere. The final preset I have is this kick, which I actually used as something in between a riser and an impact at times. I play the kick at no volume, then increase it gradually so you only get the long reverb tail, and I pitch that reverb up over time. For most of these, I also have another kick hit right afterward which solidifies that impact. And that's basically the whole track. To create some further glitches and cuts, I exported the entire song into another project and just cut it around in a bunch of places. This song will be releasing on streaming services soon, so keep an eye out, follow me on Spotify, Twitter, all that stuff, links are in the description. And also subscribe if you want, I'd love to do more breakdowns like this if people like it. So thank you to In The Mix for the challenge, I will see y'all later, ciao matane!